All right, welcome back, everyone. Well, Chief Smith, he couldn't make it today, but that's okay. We have Commander Paul Abel with the Green Bay Police Department and some other ladies with the Forensics Unit here for their community update. So we're joined by Bailey Larson, Kristen McMullen, and Shelly Zarneski as well. Thank you all for being here, guys. Now, ladies, let's start with you. Uh, you're part of the Forensics Unit with the Police Department. Kind of explain what you do. We uh, go to crime scenes and we process the crime scenes. Uh, we photograph by taking pictures. Video, um, we collect evidence and uh, we've processed it for fingerprinting and DNA. And then, once you have that information, tell us how the department uses that to help with their investigations. Um, so, crimes get solved by fingerprint evidence and DNA evidence um, for different things. Sometimes we have no lead on anything and we just have one hair fiber or we have one latent print at a crime scene where that's all we have to go on. And we saw that with yes. Menasha. I mean, mm -hmm. with the cigarette butt, they were able to make an arrest. So it's exactly. pretty incredible what these guys were able to do behind the scenes. And what's it like knowing that, you know, you are a vital part of the department, helping solve some pretty significant crimes throughout the area? Uh, it's actually quite interesting, and it's uh, really just a big deal uh, to us, knowing that we went to school for exactly forensic science and going through all those years, doing different classes, and really preparing ourselves for what it's like in the field and really just helping the department, the officers, the detectives, and knowing that we're doing a great job. And Commander Abel, obviously a, a big asset to the department as well, correct? Oh, absolutely. We have, I, th I think that we have the best forensic student in the state of Wisconsin oh, right here. And, and they're all civilian, but they work very, very hard. Now, is it just these three ladies? It's just these three. It's just you three. Mm -hmm. oh. Solving all the wow. crimes. <laughs> now, well, I'm, thank a, you. I'm a big fan of the CI CSI series. I watch all of them. It doesn't go that fast, does it? No, it doesn't. <laughs> Definitely not. I think the fastest I've had was I had a burglary case where I got some latent prints, and within I think three hours I wow. made a hit and finished all my details, and they had the guy in custody. Wow. So I mean that's probably the fastest I've ever seen it mm -hmm. um, for almost five years that I've been there. So. And it's pretty meticulous work, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean you have to be all, yeah. the, all the analysis and everything like you said, but still three hours. That's that's not yeah. too bad. Yeah. Making arrest. Yeah. All right, Commander Abel, let's switch gears now. Uh, we had an incident on the Leo Frigo Bridge last week. One of your officers was involved, and so was a woman struck by a truck. Uh, they're expected to be okay, but you know, tell us what happened there, and also a reminder of drivers to slow down, right? You're exactly right. You know, drivers need to slow down, especially you know, this is the first snowfall that we're we're getting. You know, it, it seems like January, but um, you need to slow down, take your time, be you know, leave enough room between cars. The officer is going to be okay. Uh, she has. Uh, of course, bumps and bruises and a pretty severe concussion. And uh, the latest update is that hopefully she'll be returned to work pretty soon. Gotcha. Good news. Also a reminder that last year, stolen vehicles was really a top crime in Green Bay. It was something like over 100 were stolen. 50 had their keys left in the car because they're leaving the cars running. And look, at it's cold out again. It's time to remind people don't. You're exactly right. You know, we're, we have a 23% increase right now. I just checked the numbers today. It's cold. If you're going to start your car, make sure you either stay in it, or if you have a remote start that doesn't allow your car to be driven after it's uh, started, use that. But valuables, purses, cell phones, keys, please, for the love of God, <laughs> take, take them with you. Yeah, listen yeah. to Commander Abel, for the love of God. Um, and, you know, it's, it's also just a reminder, too, with all the break-ins we saw this summer, mm -hmm. uh, you know, that these criminals, they don't hold back. They'll go after these vehicles. So over 100 cases last year. Let's try to get that number down. You said 23% increase. Is that from? Year-to-date. Year-to-date. Gotcha. Okay. So, yeah, it is a problem out there. Now, you also had a Veterans Day serving breakfast. A lot of the officers were doing that. Fun time? Yes. It was. It's a, it's a great day to give back to the veterans and to thank them for the service to the country. And we have a number of officers that are on the department that be either current military or former military. Uh, so that is a great event for our department. Yeah, and it's a great yeah. way to see the guys, our officers in uniform, who protect us to give back to those who served us. So it kind of goes yep. hand in hand. Uh, great way, and you see a thank you. Yeah, nice little breakfast there, too. Uh, Commander Abel, also, we touched with Chief Smith last time he was here about what you're doing through November with the facial hair uh, for the Special Olympics. You guys are raising quite a bit of money. Right. So it, you're going to see our officers with goatees and beards uh, probably for the next couple months because it's not just Special Olympics this year. Uh, we've extended it out to St. Baldrick's okay. uh, with the idea that we're going to take some of that money. Uh, half of it's going to go to the Special Olympics. So far, 
to date, we have raised a little over $4,500. Wow. Nice. nice. So if it's going to St. Baldrick's, does that mean they're going to get shaved at the event, too? I, we'll have to wait and see. Oh, okay. <laughs> Stay tuned to that. Uh, guys, thank you all for being here. Again, this is the Forensics Unit with the Green Bay Police Department. If you see these ladies out and about, uh, make sure you shake their hand. They are working really hard behind the scenes to solve some of the big crimes that we see throughout the city. And Commander Abel, thank you for joining us in place of Chief Smith this morning. We're going to check on your forecast coming up. Stay with us.